as a business grows, the amount of projects and employees also expands. Project management and team collaboration then becomes a daunting process. Therefore, an effective project management platform is required for continuous development. Trello and Asana both can strengthen business by allowing companies to manage projects without missing any deadline. However, as both are capable tools for organizing tasks and projects, oftentimes people get confused over which one's better. Is it Trello or is it Asana? Let's find out in today's video, where we will be comparing both of these software. Let's start with Trello first. After successfully signing up, you'll land on the main page. There you'll have the option to create your first board for your workspace. You can give a title, choose a background for your board. After that, you'll be on your newly created Kanban style board. Here you can edit the existing lists and add new ones if you want. And beneath them you can create cards, which will be basically the task you want to do. Then you can move these cards to other lists to indicate their status. Now let's go to Asana and create a project. Here you can start a project from scratch, use a template, or import a spreadsheet from another tool. For now let's just create the blank project. Then you can give it a name, add members, set privacy, and default view options, which is the main difference between Asana and Trello. In Asana, you will get a total of 4 types of views, and among them, you can use these 3 for free. But in Trello you will only get board views for free. To use other views, you have to choose a paid plan. Aside from these, the basic features are pretty much the same. For example, in both project management apps, you can add a member or a signee, a checklist similar to a subtask on Asana, due date, attachments, tags and more. But what you can't do in Trello is add a task like this and apply it to multiple projects. Other than that, in Asana you also have the My Tasks options, which show all of your tasks from all the projects. Then you have the inbox option where you can message your teammates. There are also reporting, portfolios and goals options to better track your project. But that doesn't mean Trello is limited in terms of functionalities. For example, as mentioned earlier, you can add different backgrounds to your different boards in Trello, which isn't possible in Asana. Trello also has a lot of cool features hidden behind the power-ups that you can use to integrate different apps and features to your board. For example, search for calendar power-up and click on add. By adding this, you can get a calendar view of your board. And the great thing about this power-up is, you can add as many as you want, even in the free version. Besides that, you can also add automations and set rules in the free version to handle all manual work for you. In contrast, Asana's automated workflows are only available in the paid plan. Finally, let's look at the plans and pricings of these two project management apps. Trello has a free plan with a maximum of 10 boards. The paid plan offers three options to choose from, including standard, premium and enterprise. Asana also comes with a free basic plan consisting of unlimited projects and two paid plans such as premium and business. Taking everything into account, it's safe to say that both are great at managing projects. However, we found that Trello is easier to use with a visual Kanban style board. In addition, it has unlimited members and more functions in the free plan. The paid plans also cost less, so it's perfect for managing a small business. On the other hand, Asana is a little bit complex to use. But it has unlimited projects, three types of views, tasks that can apply across the boards in the free plan, and more functionalities in the paid plan. So, overall, it's better when it comes to managing a large team. So that was all about Trello versus Asana for you. Hope you get a better idea of which project management software you should choose. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.